Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all having a great weekend so far. Today I've been playing around with a bit of my Easter decor and thought I'd just show you all what I did to my French country buffet. You all know I love mixing high end with low end and that's exactly what I did here using several Dollar Tree items with some of my higher end pieces to bring this Easter vignette to life. And you know it's all about the bunnies and the carrots. Alright guys, before we take a look at what I've done to the buffet, I just wanted to talk about that beautiful mirror I purchased at the estate sale last weekend, which I showed you all in a video. Well, after living with it for a week, I've decided not to paint it. I really love it just the way it is, and I thank you all so much for commenting and letting me know your thoughts on whether I should paint it or not, and it was unanimous. Most of you said, do not paint it. So thank you all so much. I really appreciate your input. And here it is all styled for Easter. I'll show you this buffet from several angles today because the lighting outside is not being cooperative so I hope you can all see everything okay with the lighting from my light ring. This year I've added a deep shade of blue as an accent color to my home and implemented it in my Easter decor as well. I'm really enjoying using this color palette of blues, oranges, and greens with a touch of white for a different look. What colors are you all using in your Easter decor this year? Please leave me a comment and tell me what you're all doing. I'd love to hear about your style for this spring and Easter season. The grapevine wreath base was a $1 thrift store find to which I added a bit of old ivy that I had on hand, then layered in some florals and carrots from the Dollar Tree, then added a bird's nest I had on hand with some moss, and then I added some Dollar Tree eggs that I painted in the deep blue. More Dollar Tree items were used here. The clay pots I purchased there and I did a painting technique on and then painted on some faux moss. The carrots are from the Dollar Tree and the little chalkboard sign was also from the Dollar Tree. The Happy Easter carrots that you're seeing here were part of a Dollar Tree sign that I cut apart to hang on the picket fence just for fun. Isn't it cute? The cute picket fence section that you see in the background there was a leftover piece of fencing from my garden. I hung a Hobby Lobby garland on it that I've had for a few years and then I strung a carrot garland on top of that which is also from the Dollar Tree. The cute little peat pots hanging on the fence are from Dollar Tree as well as the colorful Easter eggs in the bunny's basket. The carrots I added to the bow on his neck are also from the Dollar Tree.
right, my lovelies, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I did and how I mixed high-end with low-end in this Easter vignette. I hope you also found inspiration for creating your own beautiful vignette on a budget. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you all next week for more fun decorating here on Cottage to Courtyard. Until then, you all take care. Bye-bye, friends.